Hi guys, I'm thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial video on panel data analysis uh, using Stata. In this tutorial video, we'll show you first of all what is the uh, panel data configuration that we need to have in order to estimate uh, panel uh, model in Stata. So after showing you how to uh, how your database is going to be. We will show you how to uh, import data from Excel file. And after that, we will delve right into the estimation of our model. In our model, we will first of all uh, estimate a full linear model in order to uh, compare to our future panel estimation and after that we will show you how to uh, to set uh, a data set as uh, as panel data and after that we will show you how to really estimate panel data uh, model uh, as well as a uh, uh, fixed and random effect model and at the end, we we'll show you how to make a specification model uh, test, uh, especially Hosman Hosman test. So, um, as I told you at the beginning, uh, panel data uh, should be, uh, as you can see in this Excel file. So, in the first column, you need to have a individual individual uh, name for example so we have a uh, Benin which uh, uh, which is a country I uh, let us uh, remember you that uh, this Excel file is an Excel file on sub-Saharan African country uh, in which we have took uh, a realization of many indicators such as IMF purchase, uh, PPG, IDA, IDA, and as well as gross national uh, income and total debt service. And in this database, we're going to show you uh, a panel data to analyze the, the impact of uh, different factor on uh, total debt service, uh, which factor are uh, GNI, GNI uh, PPG, ITA, and IMF purchase. So uh, to come back to the configuration of a data, a panel data set, we have a country uh, with as well as country IT. Uh, numerical IT, so we'll see a little bit further why uh, a, a country a individual ID should be uh, numerical. So we have the uh, first country which is Benin, which is repeated uh, in our sample uh, as much as uh, every variable has realization so as much as there are uh, here's so we have uh, uh, that uh, data collected from the period uh, 1917 to uh, 2018 so we should repeat every country uh, uh, in this period in this period of time so we have Benin which is uh, repeated from uh, 1917 uh, to 2018, we have uh, Burundi, which is uh, repeated in the same period of time. We have uh, any other uh, country such as Cameroon and so on, in sub-Saharan African country, and from each uh, country and here we have uh, the realization of any uh, variable. So to come back in our starter uh, 
software right now we show you how to import uh, uh, our data set we import data set we should we just need to go on file when we are on file we just uh, go to import and choose excel spreadsheet because our excel, uh, our file is an excel uh, spreadsheet so we click on excel spreadsheet and we go in brush in order to navigate to find out uh, location of our excel file my excel file is in my desktop so i just uh, navigate to choose my excel files which is here so uh, you need to uh, select uh, the option import first row as variable name because if you don't do so starter will uh, attribute will give uh, a alphabetic random name to our uh, different variables so we click on import first row as variable name so that uh, we can keep our variable names as it is in our excel file so we click on OK, uh, we will see that uh, uh, different variable appear in this variable toolbar. So if uh, a list of variables didn't appear here, you can just go on window and uh, click on view, uh, no, not view, but go on view and click on variable. So uh, if you click on variable, you will see this window appear at the right hand corner of your uh, interface so uh, the first step uh, in panel uh, data analysis is to uh, set a, a data set to be panel data so to do so we just uh, need to go in statistics statistic uh, longitudinal uh, panel data and then we go on uh, setup and utilities and finally click on declare data set to be a panel data so we click on it and we select our um, panel id variable that we call a uh, country id because our individual was countries in sub-saharan africa and we uh, click on time variable and select our time variable which is here here is our time variable so we uh, click on ok and we can see that our data set have been set as panel data which uh, country id and here and here so uh, we can easily uh, estimate our panel data uh, analysis so first of all we will estimate a poor linear model so we go on statistic uh, a linear uh, linear model and uh, linear regression we just select the uh, dependent variable which is total depth service <coughs> Our independent variables are IMF purchase, uh, PPD, IDA, and finally GNI, cross national income. So we click on OK and we can see that our output results are in our, our table and we can realize official statistic of uh, global significant significance of our coefficient with uh, a p-value uh, null meaning that our coefficient are globally significant so we can see that uh, our different variables uh, are significant uh, apart from ppgida which is not significant because the p-value is uh, much higher than a threshold of uh, 5 or 10 percent that we can set in order to uh, analyze uh, the impact of every variable of the total 
depth service. So that was not the aim of our tutorial. Our main uh, aim is to estimate a uh, panel data uh, using status. So to, to do so, we go on uh, statistics, uh, statistic, long longitudinal data, uh, longitudinal panel data. We'll go on linear model and choose linear regression. Uh, we have four options, uh, fixed effect, random effect, and so on. So we click on this uh, option and uh, we will set our dependent variable, which is our total service, total depth service. And our independent variable are uh, IMF purchase, uh, PPG, ID, a, and finally uh, gross national income so click on ok so uh, the option by default here is a uh, gls random effect model so you estimate a random effect model so we click on ok and the result appear here on our screen given different estimate outcome of our model um, which give uh, almost the same result as in a linear or pool model in terms of significance. Any every coefficient are significant apart from PPGIDA, which is not uh, statistically significant in a random effect model. You can also read. Uh, our um, uh, our number of observation, number of groups, and so on. So we have a result of our, our random effect model. So we can also estimate our uh, our fixed effect model. So we just go on longitudinal data, uh, panel data, linear model, uh, and in this case, we chose a fixed effect, fixed effect model, and then we click on OK. So we can see that our variable uh, PPG I D A D is uh, significant. 10% level in this case, as well as some other variable, uh, such as uh, IMF purchase and uh, gross national income. So we interpret, to interpret this coefficient, we can say that uh, IMF purchase, uh, increase in IMF purchase uh, lead to a, an increase in total debt service. So as more as you have IMF purchase, you can increase your debt service. So uh, contrary, uh, uh, gross national income, for example, when it increase, the debt service decrease. So uh, to decrease your uh, total, the total debt service of the country, the country need to try to increase the gross national income. That's the interpretation of this uh, uh, fixed effect model. So, uh, the, in panel data analysis, it is important to uh, make a specification test uh, to know whether or not, for example, uh, fixed or random effect model is uh, appropriate. So to do so, uh, the first step is to, uh, first of all, uh, store our uh, estimation in, uh, in memory, in data memory. So the last model that we uh, have estimated is uh, a, our fixed uh, effect model. So we'll go on statistics, uh, longitudinal uh, post uh, estimation, 
post estimation we click on post estimation and we choose uh, specific uh, we choose uh, the option manage estimate result manage estimate result and then we click on store current estimate in memory so we call it uh, fixed because it's a fixed effect model and then we click on OK and you can see that our estimates have been stored as fixed our last estimate so we'll go uh, and also estimate uh, our longitudinal panel data uh, uh, random effect model random effect model we estimate our model and after that we do the same thing as we did on our fixed effect model we go on post estimation and then we choose the current estimate in memory so we call this time uh, random random and then we click on ok and you can see that the second estimate has been stored as random. So the step, the following steps is to estimate, a, a to uh, test for a specification diagnostic uh, using, for example, Hausmann test in order to see uh, whether or not a fixed or random effect model is uh, appropriate. So to do so, we go uh, on statistics, statistic, uh, post estimation, uh, then we choose uh, the option specification diagnostic. We have Brecht and Tagan uh, LN test for random effect. We also have Osman specification test. So we choose this time uh, Osman specification test. Uh, consistent estimate we choose uh, our fixed we choose our fixed we just uh, select fixed and efficient uh, consistent estimate is fixed and uh, efficient estimate is uh, random so in this test while choosing this parameter, it means that our null hypothesis is that a random effect model is appropriate. So that's our null hypothesis, uh, efficient estimate. So uh, we click on OK, and we can see uh, the result on, of our random uh, of our. Um, Postman test, which show that our chi square is uh, 3.15 and our p value is uh, 0 0.36, that is uh, superior to a 5% or 10 or even 10% significant level, which means that we cannot uh, reject our null hypothesis. Uh, which is a uh, random effect is appropriate so we just uh, accept a null hypothesis meaning that a, a random effect model is appropriate so in our modeling uh, using panel data we found out that uh, using our data set we cannot uh, we can just uh, better do to estimate a random effect model that we have just show you how to estimate uh, and interpret in this tutorial and we hope this tutorial has helped you very well understand uh, panel data analysis and we'll see you a little bit sooner in the more or other tutorials so thanks very much